Well, we wanted to do a formal opening for the Academy. Join the uh, DRET network on um, 1st of January. Uh, but we'd wanted to, to give it a launch with a bit of a bang, and uh, we decided that the best possible person we could get to do that, given the specialisations of the school, might be somebody who was involved in Formula One, given the links with Formula One, locally with Silverstone and the Rockingham Speedway. So we decided to go for gold, to try and get Lewis Hamilton, and that's what we did. Becoming an Academy is great because it's about embracing the opportunities on offer for the students. It's fundamentally about being successful in all fields, about the, all the, the basic skills that parents and employers want their children to have is really important, but also the enrichment of sport, drama and other opportunities in the world of higher education, employment. It's just a, a fantastic opportunity for our students. My role has been to take Lewis Hamilton around the school, taking him to different lessons and facilities and looking around the school. He seemed really impressed when we went round to the design and technology block and there was a car in which the students had put together and they were looking at how they could possibly make it faster. A lot of the students seem inspired by the way in which he came from nothing and has gradually worked his way up and has worked very hard to do and get to where he is today. This morning we had an introduction with the, the, the Green Power car that we're going to be racing in June and then afterwards Lewis Hamilton came and gave us some tips and advice on how we could improve the car and it, it was good for encouragement. I think seeing Lewis Hamilton at my school was just, it was very good to see like a famous person because it's the first time I've ever met a famous person. I was inspired um, by what he said was, I asked him when like, he had hard times in his life and when he was down. Well, what kept him motivated to carry on to become a champion? And he said there were times were hard, but he had his family and he just kept positive and he always wanted to just try and win and just always kept positive even when times were hard. Thanks for the warm welcome. Well, I haven't been in a school like this for a long time. I mean, we used to have these kind of assemblies where other people would come in, but I never ever thought I'd be sitting in front of a crowd like this. Would you encourage young people to enter the F1 world? Obviously we're not far from Silverstone and there's so much around here. There's so much to do in, uh, in Formula 1. As I said, there's almost a thousand people in my team. There's like 400, three or 400 people that work in the engine department who build the engine, who are working on 2014, who are working on 2013 engine. Um, then back at the factory you have that 700 people working on the car, just to build two cars for a year. It's, it's incredible. Thank you very much. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Hamilton. I think Lewis was really impressed with the Academy. Um, all the, the areas that we went round to, the uh, design technology, the music, um, all the different subjects that we went to, um, what they were doing, he seemed really impressed and, and he could relate to what he'd done before at, at his school when he was in education himself. Um, and then I think also going, you know, to open the Academy as a whole, as a whole school um, group, I think that really topped it off. Well, Lodge Park's um, specialisms are sport and technology, so somebody like Lewis fuses those two specialisms and really gives the students an insight into the kinds of life and career that they could have if they follow their dreams, work hard and persevere. So not just the students who are interested in sport and technology, but it's all about somebody who's been come from a kind of ordinary background and then really, really um, tried his hardest and got to the top of his field, and that's a, a fantastic role model for our students. Mm -hmm.